Kurtaglu Hizir Reis was an Ottoman admiral who is best known for commanding the Ottoman naval expedition to Sumatra in Indonesia. Background and family origins Kurtaglu Hizir Reis was the son of the famous Turkish privateer and Ottoman admiral Kurtaglu Muslihidin Reis, who was known as Kurtagoli in Europe, particularly in Italy, France and Spain. The name Kurtaglu or Kurdoglu means son of Kurt in Turkish, a family name which Muslihidin inherited from his father, Kurt Bey, a Turkish seaman from Anatolia who went to northwestern Africa for privateering together with the other famous Turkish corsairs of that period such as the Barbarossa brothers, Oruk race and Hizir race. His ear race became a close friend of Kurtaglu Muslihidin, who named his son after him. Oruk race, his ear race, Kamal race, Piri race and Kurtaglu Muslihidin race often sailed together in the Mediterranean Sea. Ottoman naval expedition to Sumatra, in 1565. Sultan al Aden of ACEH declared allegiance to the Ottoman Empire and sent a request for assistance to the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent for defending his land from Portuguese aggression. Due to Suleiman's death in 1566, the Ottoman naval expedition to Sumatra was sent by his son, Selim II, who appointed Kurtaglu his ear race with the mission. Kurtaglu Hizir Reis was the admiral-in-chief of the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet based in Suez, with other home ports in Aden and Basra. In 1568 he set sail with a force of 22 ships carrying soldiers, military equipment and other supplies, and visited Aden, Djibouti, Muscat, Hormuz. Dabal, Surat, Janjira, Lanka and then arrived at ACEH in 1569, an event which effectively marked the easternmost territorial expansion of the Ottoman Empire, was noted by his Portuguese rival Fernão Mendes Pinto. Simultaneously, the Ottoman Empire informed Portugal that ACEH was from that time on an Ottoman territory and any attack against ACEH would be perceived as an attack against the Ottoman Empire, and the Portuguese fleet stopped its activities in the areas surrounding ACEH. ACEH effectively remained as an Ottoman protectorate until the late 18th century, and an ally of the Ottoman Empire until 1904, when it largely went under Dutch control. The bells of several Dutch churches in ACEH are made from melted Ottoman cannons, and some of them still carry the Ottoman crest which were originally on these cannons.